It's a story that started days before Christmas. We've dispatched Portage Fire, a report of a Ford truck that crashed last Wednesday. And ended dramatically overnight with little time to spare. Just the stars aligned in his favor. Ice fishers just happened to spot this truck near a creek in Porter County. There is a vehicle. It is pretty badly damaged. With a Mishawaka man trapped inside. Male's conscious breathing. He tried yelling and screaming, but nobody would hear him. It was just quiet, just the sound of the water. Tonight, we're getting new info on the man's condition as he remains at Memorial Hospital. It could have been a different outcome if we either didn't go out or didn't see him. This is 16 News Now at 4. From WNDU TV, this is 16 News Now at 4. And you're taking a look right now at Matthew Ream, who we've just learned has part of his leg amputated. That's the breaking news as we come on the air at four. And it comes after the Mishawaka native ended up rescued after he was stuck in a truck near a ravine in Porter County for almost an entire week. What a story. Good wow. evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Josh for short. And I'm Lauren Moss. This is a story we've been following since last night. So here's what we know at this hour. Emergency crews were called to I-94 at the Salt Creek overpass. This is in Porter County. After two fishers men in the creek spotted Reem's truck under the overpass. Well, they found Reem in the truck thinking he was dead at first, but he was alive. They found that out after touching him. He turned to them and then started talking. Firefighters got Reem out of the truck. He was airlifted to Memorial Hospital. One of the fishermen who helped save Reem's life shared how that moment went down. Went to touch it and he turned around. And that just, it, it almost killed me there because it, it was kind of shocking. But uh, he was alive and he was very happy to see us. Like he was really like, I've never seen a relief like that. Currently, there's a GoFundMe page for Reem with a goal of $25,000. And it is ticking up really fast too, Lauren. At last check, they've gotten around 16000 Our own Matt Gotch has been following the story all day. He is actively working on some brand new reporting. You can see that right here at 5 and 6 o'clock.